This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, Treasury bond yields stayed elevated while stock prices levitated, snapping a three-week losing streak for the markets as stocks shook off some early concerns as investors reacted to Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's speech at Jackson Hole. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped five-tenths and one percent, marking its second straight week of declines. The S&P 500, however, rose eight-tenths of a percent, snapping a three-week losing streak, while the NASDAQ composite rose 2.3 percent, snapping its own three-week losing streak. Now, optimism was fueled, in part, by Powell's confidence in continued economic growth in the U.S., as he cited especially robust consumer spending and early signs of a recovery in the housing market. He reiterated the central bank's commitment to pull inflation back down to its 2% goal. The Federal Reserve is data dependent, so Powell gave no clear indication of which way he sees interest rates heading, simply because he doesn't know what he's going to do until the day of the next meeting. And there is a ton of key data to consider between now and that next meeting in September. After the speech, investors in interest rate futures markets saw a nearly 20% chance that the Fed would raise rates at its meeting next month, but the probability of an increase in November edged up to around 50%. But just like Powell, they also don't know what's unknowable. Meanwhile, the first GOP primary debate is in the books, and we are officially off to the races for 2024's presidential election. Right now, there isn't any way to know who will win the nomination for either party, but it won't stop the media from predicting dire consequences for both the economy and the markets if their preferred party doesn't win, not to mention those annoying political commercials. The good news for the markets is politics, based on the history of the presidential cycle, actually point to the positive. Years three and four of the presidential cycle are stronger than years one and two, with both historically delivering S&P 500 returns above the annualized average since 1925. Returns in year three tend to be front-end loaded, but they're still typically fine overall in the year second half. Need I remind anybody that so far this year, year three of the presidential cycle, the S&P 500 is up a whopping 16% year to date. Now year four, two tends to be positive much more often than not, with the S&P 500 rising 83% of the time. So if you enjoy watching those early verbal sparring matches, go on, have your fun. Well, if you would much rather spend time on family, friends, your golf and pickleball games, ignore the noise. Stay invested. Stick to your financial plan. History, as it turns out, is on your side. The plan is only useful if it can survive reality. And a future filled with unknowns is everybody's reality. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 75 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need is to text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.